Okay, so we're gonna hang drywall. I'm always usually by myself, so I'm gonna show you a couple tips on doing it yourself. But number one, make sure that all your screws and nails are out of this. Um, there's nothing more painful than seeing something pop through. So make sure that all your uh, ceiling joists are clear. But then also just take a magic marker or a pencil and just mark your ceiling joist because this is gonna help out a lot so you know where exactly to screw in so you're not messing around trying to figure out where that ceiling joist is. Just a little two by four up against the side. Leave it, you know, you could leave it an inch down, inch and a half down below the ceiling. Um, this is just gonna catch that side of the drywall so when I lift it up, it's not gonna just fall down. So um, any size two by four really works. And then you don't want to make it tight. You want to have room in here so that you can push this up. If you make it tight, you're going to have a hard time getting the drywall in there. Okay. All right, and when it comes to installing the drywall, again, if you're by yourself, I mean, it's a little bit more challenging, but having this board up here is going to help you out quite a bit. So I would set yourself up so that you can easily grab things. I mean, this Hilti gun is actually pretty nice. It has a little pocket on there so now I can just grab this once I'm ready to go and I got pouches of screws in here I usually go with the inch and five a screws for ceilings so like I said you just want to be set up because there's not you can't really do anything by yourself if you if uh, if you're missing your tool on the ground or something so all right so we're just gonna get this up over that two by four And they usually have a marking pattern on here every 12 inches or so. So that makes it easy to gauge where your joist is. So you just need four screws, so one every foot. Okay, so we're gonna hang some drywall. Um, a couple ways to put the drywall on the wall. Uh, the simplest one, if you don't really have, if you're not doing this all the time, would be just to buy some of these dimple bits. These are made by DeWalt, and basically all they are is just a simple uh, adapter that you stick into your regular drill. And this just this little big sleeve on the outside basically keeps the screw from penetrating all the way through the drywall. So these are simple, cheap, easy ways to go about it. Um, mainly for wall hanging, right over studs like this, inch and a quarter screws are fine. The second alternative is to get a drywall gun. And what this does is allow, it, it doesn't spin until you put pressure on the bit. So you can basically have this up to speed and then drill the screws in. And then the last one, which is really ideal is a magazine style which has a whole bunch of screws already attached to it um, so you can just basically continue screwing as much as possible without having to mess around with actually holding the screws and putting them in place so these three different ways really um, you know they're all comparative I mean really with four or five pieces of drywall I mean you might be saving 15 minutes to using this but it does definitely make it easier, but it's probably not worth the expense unless you do this all the time. I always like to have my waterproofing come outside the tub. So we have a 30 inch tub. I like my waterproofing to come out the 32 inches, go two inches past the tub. So what we would end up with is basically a 60 inch piece of drywall. But all I'm basically saying is no matter what size your room is, I would recommend just allowing that waterproofing. You don't want to butt drywall straight up against the tub because that's always an area where 
you know, the drywall deteriorates when water runs down the side of the tub. So having the waterproofing board up against the tub is, is the best way to go. Okay, so I just wanna get that wire closer to the center here. All right, so we got 16 and a quarter by seven. 16 and a quarter by seven. So this little tool is pretty nice. This is a drywall roll lifter. Definitely not necessary for a small bathroom, but it's, it is a nice little extra tool. Just helps you tighten it straight up against your board. So you just put pressure on it. And then the next step is to move on to doing that first coat of mud. I always like to use paper tape for all of my seams. But hey, thanks so much for watching my videos. Please subscribe and follow for more tips and advice like this. My goal is to simplify bathroom remodeling. So thanks again, and we'll see you in the next one.